Welcome to the Patriots Day version of my weekly chat. Having had the pleasure and the honor of growing up in both Concord and Lexington, Massachusetts, I have a great appreciation for what this day means in U.S. history. We spend our time honoring those who set forth the ideals that every man was going to have the opportunity to pursue life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Coach Peterson, my great friend, mentor, surrogate dad, who passed away a little bit more than a week ago, would be real quick to point out that the first person to die for this country was a guy by the name of Crispus Attucks in Lexington, a black man. Coach always felt like he had to make sure that we were aware that we were part of the overall fabric of this country. That it was not just about black versus white, though he certainly felt like his calling was to touch babies at the Bradette Tennis Center in a community that was almost exclusively African American. But more than that, he felt like those that were his disciples, of which I count myself amongst the many, which I certainly heard at his memorial service this past Saturday, were to go and set up ministries in all communities and take his training philosophies and make them available to every child. Because he felt like what we needed to do was we needed to change lives one ball at a time. And so he said to me, Big D, you're going to take this to places that I can't take it. And I greatly appreciate the fact that he did that. That he didn't look at me and say, you need to do this only here. He said, you need to do this where you're called to do it. During his memorial service on Saturday, Zena Garrison stood up and said that Coach had talked to her within the past month about the fact that she needed to get together with Lori McNeil and Rodney Harmon and create a social network for minorities looking to pursue tennis at the professional level. A lot of people would have been surprised because whenever I brought up professional tennis at Burdett, coach said, don't talk about that here, that's not what we do. We get kids college scholarships. But he recognized that I was part of his ministry when I was at Burdett, and his ministry was about getting kids to college. Yet at the same time, he knew that there were others who had other callings, and he was going to constantly encourage them to pursue those things and to work together. I think we have a great opportunity to create many of those interwoven fabrics as we go forward. A lot of people stepped up and said, you know, this needs to be our call to action and we need to work together. And I hope that when the memory of the memorial service fades, that those people continue to say that that's what we're going to do. Because Coach Peterson sat in that same park since 1978 for decades doing the same thing. And the reason that he was honored in 2003 as the U.S. Olympic Committee Developmental Coach of the Year, not the Black Coach of the Year, but the greatest developmental coach in the country at that time, was because he not only said it, but he did it day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, for decades. So I hope everyone continues to work together. His daughter Jules continuing the legacy both at Burdett and taking his spot as a founding member of the board of directors of our Unfurrowed Ground Foundation. And we're greatly appreciative that Coach raised someone 
that could carry on his legacy as part of what it was that he was encouraging me to do. That's how I see it. I don't know if you believe it or not, but it doesn't matter because it's my show, not yours. I'm going to leave you with some clips from a day in 1997 at the Burdett Tennis Center that shows you what Coach was all about every day. I hope you enjoy it. Till we talk next week, peace out.